Hey everybody, I'm Molly here with Rose City RV of Michigan, and today we want to show you what roof sealer looks like when it's went past its lifespan. So, looking at this roof sealer here, you can tell where the customer has added additional. And this material here is still there, but it's not really holding on anymore, as you can see. And this is all pulled away. And this is normal as the materials shrink with time with UV. Um, but this stuff, when it got put on, it should have put, been put on at a much thicker bead. It should have laid all along there, which they did not do. Um, but this is probably five years past, or maybe even longer, maybe even up to 10 years. So this stuff lasts a long time when it first gets put down, but it needs to be checked twice a year. Remember, we do free roof inspections, so we're here to help you with that if you don't want to crawl up there on your own. Um, and we can fix it for you at that time by adding additional sealer. Um, but this definitely needs sealer and it needed sealer a long time ago. This would be leaking um, when it is in the rain. We have a couple more spots on this RV that we can show you. Um, but the, the front cap or the front transition molding as we call it is one of the biggest um, issues on an RV as far as spots that need sealed. And same with all these roof vents that you see here. Okay, so moving on to the skylight, this is another big issue area. As you can see here, we can peel this right back with our fingers. We have huge cracks all the way around here. So water's gonna be getting in to every single one of these spots. So remember, free roof inspections, we're here to help if you need help with this stuff. Another thing is making sure you're putting on the right materials. If you go put silicone on this roof, it will not stick. You have to use the correct sealer. So if you need that, we're here to help. Um, if you just need some guidance on what to look for and what to use, this should help you with that.